Hello and welcome back to You Can Cook, filming in our brand new demonstration kitchen here at PCTV. My name is Lisa Kazarski. I'm a registered and licensed dietitian and nutritionist at Berkshire Health Systems Operation Better Start. I work with young people and their families to help them make healthy lifestyle changes. We're here today through a Carol M. White Pittsfield Can Grant. The CAN, C-A-N, stands for Connecting, Activity, and Nutrition. This grant includes partnerships with the Pittsfield Public Schools, the Pittsfield Y, and Pittsfield Community Television. Pittsfield CAN has enabled us to bring nutrition education to the students and families of the Pittsfield Public Schools. Today, we're going to learn how to get the most nutrition out of our favorite holiday desserts, or seasonal desserts. I have here with me today our chef in school, Chef Tom Tenuta. We've also, we're also thrilled to have Pittsfield Elementary School students helping us cook today. We have Andrew from Crosby, we've got Hollis from Conti, and Brenna from Stearns. They're going to help us today. Welcome. So Chef Tom, what are we going to be making today? All right, today we're going to make some soft baked ginger cookies. And um, one way to lighten these up or, or uh, to make them a little healthier is we're going to use a, a whole wheat flour in our uh, in our recipe, all right? So our recipe starts out with whole wheat flour, and Brenna, take that. We're gonna mix all our dry ingredients into a bowl, make sure we mix them well together. There's whole wheat flour, ginger, and cinnamon, and a little baking soda and baking powder. And what we do is we make sure we mix it well with a whisk, that way everything's incorporated, all the cookies taste the same, they rise the same. There's not too much cinnamon in one, too little in another. All right. Okay. Great. So we've got all of our dry ingredients We've got our dry ingredients, and now we're going to whisk those all okay. together. So you know what? When we're talking about desserts, we're talking about trying to make them a little healthier, aren't we? So, but how about favorites? What's your favorite dessert, Andrew? Apple pie. Oh. Apple pie. Yes. The all-American apple pie. How about you, Hollis? Uh, red velvet cake and cupcakes. Red velvet cake. How about red velvet cupcakes? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. How about you, Brenna? I like all kinds of cheesecake. Mm. Cheesecake. All kinds. I do too. I oh, like great All ones that I like too. So we want to lighten them up though a little bit. So and and maybe throw in some nutrition. So what are some of the other ingredients we have here, Chef Tom? All right. So once we have our dry ingredients mixed well, we're then going to mix in our wet ingredients. So for first is molasses. Oh, look right. at how dark that molasses, molasses. is. Molasses. Have you all seen molasses that dark Have before? That? Have you smelled it? Wait. Ooh, what does that smell? Hmm, I haven't smelled it either. What do you think? Mm. Smell mm. weird? Yeah. 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 That's called think? blackstrap molasses. Blackstrap okay, molasses ahead, is, is the sugar? most nutritious Ooh. form of molasses actually. It has minerals in it such as um, iron, such as calcium, and magnesium. Um, Chef Tom is using the molasses as a sweetener, so there's still some, sh some sweetness to molasses. It does, um, it is a carbohydrate. It's got su some sugar in it. Um, so that's one of our sweeteners in the dessert today. And next, a little honey. And honey is our other sweetener. So again, still a sugar to us, but um, there are some, some, some small nutritional benefits from honey. Um, All right, and after we get the honey in, we have vanilla. Go ahead, add our vanilla in. And the last ingredient, which is one you can, you can use a little lot, very popular item now, coconut water, coconut oil. Coconut, 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 coconut. So we have coconut oil. You want to make sure you melt it. What do you think? It smells well, like coconut. Like coconut. Smells like coconut. Yeah. That's good. It should. All right. So we're just using that today. You can use vegetable yes. oil. You it can use like butter. Coconut. And we're going to mix that right in with everything else. So Chef Tom, is that going to taste like coconut at all in our? No, place? it'll give it a little, a little more richness. Um, but 
you won't it won't taste like coconut. You won't get too much of a coconut taste to it. Um, and the last is an egg. We need one egg. Egg. How about cracking us an egg? To put in there. There we go. Egg. All right. Give it a good crack. How about right on the table? And we'll crack it on the table. That way we don't get any shells inside the good the little cup. Go ahead. I always wondered about that. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Nice. Well, you got it out. All That's right. why we wear aprons. All right, great. I'll take <laughs> nice that. You got it out, right? Good. So yeah, let's yeah. let's add let's let's add the egg. Good job. All right. So now once we have all the wet ingredients, we're gonna put the dry into the wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. And by now we want to have our oven preheated to about 325, 350 degrees. We're gonna incorporate everything and make sure we want to, we want that flour to just become wet. That's all. So we just don't want to see any dry flour in there. Okay, all so right. it's okay to just keep stirring. We'll we don't just keep have to stirring. Worry about over stirring cookies, uh, no, right? that's why we're using we use a rubber spatula, which okay. we don't incorporate <laughs> as much air into it, and um, we we'll just keep stirring until all that flour mm. gets incorporated. Looking good. All right, and so then we're just after that we have our oven heated, and we're going to drop spoonfuls. Let's go. We'll drop some spoonfuls. Of that. So this is and what we want to do, yeah, what we want to do at this point is you'll see that it's pretty, it, it's it's pretty wet. So you want to put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours in order for it to to stiffen up because that coconut oil or butter, if you used, is going to harden that up. And then we would drop it on, you know, you, we would drop some on on a pan. Th these, if you drop these on a pan, they'd be real flat cookies. So go ahead, you can use one spoon. Okay. And that would do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you if you let the dough, but again you let you put that in your refrigerator for a couple hours, let it, oh, let, it let it get hard, and then uh, and then you'll have soft fluffy cookies. If not, you'll have crisp oh. hard cookies. So the wetter so, the ingredients, the well, more. Well, yep. Like the, that. It'll be crispier. Crispier. Huh. So once those have baked nice, like, for about 15 minutes, like, we'll take them out, nice and there we go. Oh, look at that. So we have soft chewy cookies. All right. And everybody loves chewy and cookies, And we want to try right? one? Everyone try one? Good. I'll Are you ready that. to try one, you too, ready to taste one, Andrew? Hmm? You ready to try one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how's what that? do we think? How's that, We Hollis? like ginger cookie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's made that's with good. Mm -hmm. flour, so we're also getting some benefit what from the... What do we think? Good? Thumbs up? All right. From the fiber. All right. Well, that's a good job. Everyone did great. Great job, Thank you everybody. very much. So we will be back soon with some more delicious desserts that and we've lightened up. Thank you. Welcome back to You Can Cook, filming in our brand new demonstration kitchen here at PCTV. My name is Lisa Kazarski, and I'm a registered and licensed dietitian and nutritionist at Berkshire Health Systems Operation Better Start. I'm here today with Chef Tom Tenuta and our students from Pittsfield Public Schools. We've got Audrey from Stearns and Miguel from Crosby. And we're working on desserts and how to lighten up and make our desserts a little more healthy. What kind of desserts do you like? Um, I like plain cheesecake. Mm. Good. That's a that's a favorite. How about you, Miguel? I like peanut butter pie. Peanut butter peanut pie. Butter pie. Ooh. Mm. That's a good one too. Yummy. So, Chef Tom, what are we going to be doing today? So, we're going to do a superfood chocolate bark. Anyone mm. had chocolate bark before? Know what it is? Yeah, I bet you a lot of people have, huh? Have you had Have you had chocolate bark before? No. 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 Well, oh. what it is? Here we go. Is chocolate for one. We're going to use a dark chocolate. All right, and with that, uh, on top of that, we're going to have coconut, cranberries, and pistachios, which you can also mm. substitute any type of nut you'd like. Like what? What other nuts would you substitute for pistachios? Mm -hmm. Peanuts. Peanuts. Why not? How about you, Miguel? Um, Anything else? What else? We have? Walnuts. Walnuts. Sure. Walnuts, they'd be great in there. They'd be fantastic. So when we have these, keep in mind, when we have dark chocolate, that's a superfood too because 
Um, chocolate is rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and um, also just an interesting fact about the Revolutionary War, um, chocolate was used as money at times during the Revolutionary War. The, some of the soldiers used it to um, interchange with money. So that's how valuable it was back then and we still enjoy it very much today, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so what are we right. doing first? So with our chocolate, what we'll do is take our discs of dark chocolate and melt them in a double boiler, which is just water boiling over and a uh, bowl with the chocolate until it melts. Or we can use a microwave, which would work just as well to melt the chocolate. And once the chocolate is melted, we'll take a pan prepared with a pizza, uh, piece of uh, baking paper and we'll s just spread that chocolate out on the pan. All right. Now, while Audrey's spreading out the chocolate, oh, look at that Miguel, special tool. Yeah, Miguel will, will, add, will uh, mix all the toppings together. Hmm. So here we have the coconut there. And coconut has become more popular lately. Some people love it, some people don't. But um, coconut is a high fiber food. And it's a natural form of, um, of fats as well, like our nuts. But there's some healthy fats in the nuts. The coconut, we gotta be a little bit more careful, but using it in moderation certainly is fine. So once we spread out the chocolate, you can make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. Um, we're gonna spread, or we're gonna sprinkle, I should say, all our toppings on. So go ahead, Miguel, you can sprinkle on there. That's good. And just sprinkle them all over. Go ahead, grab, grab a bunch of them. Yeah, keep going. Yes. So once, once we've sprinkled our toppings on, we wanna take this and refrigerate it for about 30 minutes to an hour. Take it out of the fridge, and we have something that looks like this. Oh, wow, doesn't that look good? This one's just a little bit bigger, so we all get to have some. Um, and then once you have it, break it up into small pieces for Ooh. snacks, little dessert, makes a nice gift. A little goes a long way on this stuff too, because it's, it's such a strong taste in the, in the um, dark chocolate that you don't need a lot to be satisfying. So it helps keep the calories down. So what do we think? Give it a taste, Audrey? It's so pretty too. Miguel, you know that's You guys like chocolate? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. How do you like that, Audrey? Right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and easy too, huh? Quick, easy. It could make a gift, actually. You could put some wrapped up. Yeah. All right, nice yeah. job. All right, well, thank you for joining us and helping us make these delicious, this delicious dessert. Today we showed you how to get the most nutritional value from some delicious desserts. It's important to remember moderation in portion size when we're indulging. If you're like many and have trouble putting down the fork, try making smaller portions or batches of your favorite desserts to avoid overeating and the temptation of leftovers. We'd like to th thank Chef Tom and our guests. We've got Hollis, we've got Brenna, Audrey, Miguel, and Andrew. Thank you for joining us today and for your help with our healthy dessert to cooking topic. We'll be back to with another show soon featuring a new healthy cooking topic. Please join us.